massive gremlin. Some of you didn't know a comic book could be worth so much. Are you a good boy? Little did he know when he went to work, I played with it anyway. Hey everybody, it's Kenny. I'm here at Mile High Comics, the largest comic book store in America. Uh, some, say, some say the world. If you're new to my channel, my name's Kenny. I travel, check out novel and new things, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. I'm going to head in there today, and I'm going to check out all the things that they have. This place uh, sort of has a, some meaning in my life, and I'll explain that in a bit. Look at these massive comic book pictures they have on the side here. This place must be big. I haven't never been in here. You have Superman doing his thing. Silver Surfer. Spider-Man. All right, let's go in. Wow, this place is massive. Just little kitty. Hello, how's it going? Pretty good. Just saw your little buddy here. I think I'll just follow this cat. He knows where all the cool sections are. America's largest comic website, Mile High Comics, America's largest comic dealer. The guy who started this, his name was Chuck. I don't remember his last name, but he has been doing this since he was 13. He started collecting and had, I don't know, like 10,000 when he started his first store in Boulder. And long story short, he ended up here in Denver and has the biggest comic book store in America. And um, I, I think from what I've seen, it may be the biggest one in the world. If not, show me in the comments where a uh, bigger one is. I'd like to see it. Maybe I'll go one day. Oh man, we have carnage here. It's pretty cool. You know, a lot of people would like to have that. Seems like everybody was her for Halloween. Punisher statue. And of course, the main thing they sell here are comics. Back there, all the rows, that's their online um, warehouse. So if you order anything from Mile High Comics, it's coming from back there. When I was living in California, I was grew up, I was a kid out on Treasure Island. And my house was filled with toys, models, things of that nature. And a good bit of that came from here because not everything could be found uh, all over the country. So my dad would order from Mile High Comics because they always had so much and they still have a lot. They have a pretty huge section of uh, comics and collectibles and things that uh, the people want and they order to, from the, to this day. And I grew up in the 80s and I used to read comics pretty heavily myself but my dad is the one who originally got me into fiction and collectibles and things of that nature so and he still to this day loves it and uh along with millions of other people so so these are comics that are rated by an agency the cgc i don't remember what they stand for maybe i'll put it in the video but uh they evaluate the condition of the comic and they put a value on it for instance this one 25 cent captain marvel is now worth two thousand five hundred dollars based on their rating 
Then they have the, you know, you see rating number five, rating nine, 9.8, and that determines how much they're, they're worth. So pretty cool system. I'm just curious. I'm gonna look for the most expensive one. Captain America lives again. This is probably from the early 80s. Hope versus Wolverine. 12 grand. I think this is it. Some of you didn't know a comic book could be worth so much, did you? What sorts of uh, public events did, do you, did you used to host over there? I do know there was about live that. Live wrestling. Live wrestling. Uh, all ages drag show and uh, poker auction. Uh, have you been working here for a while? Uh, 30 years. This would be heaven for me as a kid oh, in the course. 80s, you know, it's so, so massive. Well, that's kind of why we created it. And then a lot of the little like things like the bone, the, the pinhead, and all the other little things that uh, we don't want to sell them. We just have them here so people can have photo ops. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. I'm going to look around some more. I don't know if it's once, I think it's once a month, uh, Mile High Comics does a family-friendly drag show and uh, they support the LGBTQ plus community. And of course, everyone's favorite, Mandalorian. The collectibles of all kinds, and G.I. Joe is a big one. Isaki Ujimbo. Who remembers this guy? He ended up with the Ninja Turtles, but uh, I think originally he was a character all of his own from Japan. Lobo. This guy is probably one of the most brutal aliens in the DC Universe. Not only has he beat Superman down, but he's beat up Santa Claus. Um, he has no mercy. Here is Voltron, defender of the universe. My mom and dad spent a long period of time looking for the right Voltron for me for Christmas. And uh, apparently I wasn't very happy with it. <laughs> But this is the one I, 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 they eventually got me, and I loved it. Each lion attached to each other one and became the robot, and it had a blazing sword, of course. Anybody need a TARDIS? Let's see if we have any cool posters. Old school GI Joe. The hell's up with the Hulk's haircut? Totally awesome Hulk. I don't think that's a Hulk I'd like to read. Mario, Luigi. You're skipping out on the stories of comic books because you think it's childish. Uh, you should give them a try. There's some wonderful graphic novels out here and wonderful stories that are that are sometimes even change in the movies. Um, the Watchmen is one of them. Uh, Hellboy, another. I actually stopped reading comics for a long time. The reason why is because it's just like a never-ending black hole of comics. It's just so much variety. There were 15 million different Spider-Mans. The Amazing Spider-Man, the you know, Incredible Spider-Man, you know this X-Men and then there were the X-Factor and all these other comic books and it just got too much and I was spending all my money on comics. Good job. Cry a little wind. Huh. How did it miss that? It's a large X-Wing fighter. Looks like one of the wings collapsed. But I've been a Star Wars nerd my whole life. You're a Star Wars fan like I am and you don't, you can't get enough and there's not enough TV shows where well, you can always come to the comics. Plenty of backstories and stories uh, that are brand new that you can pick up here. Once more the Sith shall rule the galaxy and we shall have Star Destroyer. All right, this is this is for my dad. Uh, he used to have a model Star Destroyer uh, in California that he sat, and we couldn't play with it. He decided to be a nice guy and give his uh, model to somebody out 
you know, some, one of my little friends outside playing, and I was so upset. Little did he know when he went to work, I played with it anyway. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Are you a good boy? Yeah? I found him. Adorable. This crazy looking Superman. I wouldn't want to deal with him with his power. Oh man, He Man. I loved He Man. I had this guy. I don't remember what his name was. So wow. They really roped us kids in back then. They put the TV show on and then sell us their toys. Who remembers Slimer from Ghostbusters? And I'm really digging this place. This is, uh, they have everything you need. And it's so, uh, so cool. It's like perfect place to go during COVID. You know, you kind of get out of reality and go to all these different types of fantasy. Star Wars, Star Trek, X-Men, Spider-Man. I just found the most popular character in the whole store. Jar Jar Binks. Man, you know, he would have made a great Jedi. Those massive Gremlin. How many square feet is this place? The whole warehouse is 60,000. 60,000, wow. The store is 40, 45 of it. 45, holy moly. So I'm gonna go stand in the middle of this whole store just to kind of give you some perspective on how large this place is. I'd have to say I'm in the center of this place now. I'm gonna turn this around and give you a view of how large this place is. My dad were to come in here. That'd be the last we'd ever see of him. Here's an original Deadpool mask signed by Ryan Reynolds and a few other people. You like your lantern, take your pick. Well, once again, I, Keith Roth on Air Nation, hey. celebrate Duff hey. McCaig and Guns N' Roses. Next year, tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Pacific Awesome. It's going to be on Channel 38. But if you just can't wait, it's on the air right now. Just search it. Let's do all we can. It's an old school Batman utility belt. One grand. Silver Surfer. Not sure that I knew that they were pop so popular. My brother loved them. We'd watch those. We'd come home from school and watch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers together. Jay and Silent Bob, Adventures of Blunt Man and Comic. <laughs> Rock on South and Robots. That's before my generation, but I've heard of them. Got Gambit and Captain Marvel over here. Posing for the camera. Apparently they don't sell everything that they have, so these aren't for sale. I think someone just made them. I mean, if you look close, it's handmade and hand painted. Which is pretty cool. Take some creativity to hook that up. Us Superman are done with the comic store today and we're headed out. All right, that's it for today. Uh, I had fun in there, fun looking around. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you do, did enjoy this video, uh, like, subscribe, and press the bell notifications and you'll be alerted to when my videos come. If you want to support me and think and what I'm trying to do out here by just seeing novel and new things and traveling around, uh, you can donate a cup of coffee to me at buymeacoffee at novelworld.com. 
uh, you know, anything I get, I'll use towards this channel uh, to grow it in whichever way I can, you know, equipment, traveling. Uh, I have a few other things I want to do. So uh, there you go. Thanks and take care. Speaking of comic book characters, let me know in the comments what your favorite character was, if any. Did you like Star Wars, Star Trek? Did you like Marvel, DC? Did you like Richard Rich or anybody? Let me know who your favorite person was down in the comments. I'm really curious.